Hello out there, welcome to the maiden edition of News in Brief here on NHIS TV. Coming up, NHIS makes happy the woman with disability who cried for government's help. Also coming up in this bulletin, NHIA kits for SHS students as schools reopen. We'll hear from CEO Dr. Lydia Janiselbi. All these are more here in the maiden edition of News in Brief here on NHIS TV. We are back with details. Don't go away. Thanks so much for staying. To our first story, the National Health Insurance Authority recently enrolled onto the NHIS a partially blind and crippled woman who appealed to government to help alleviate the plight of her daughter suffering from Down syndrome. Madame Georgina Yawa Ankara and Daughter's Dilemma, which was aired on the Joy News Channel on Multi TV, caught the attention of the First Lady of the Republic of Ghana, Madame Rebecca Akufuado. There is more in this report. Yawa has since the story aired been visited by officials from the Rebecca Foundation who went bearing gifts. Director of Membership and Regional Operations of the National Health Insurance Authority, Ben Kusi, said his team was also touched after watching Yawa's story. We heard about the plight of um, the family, that is um, Madame Georgina Yawa Ankara and um, Vanessa, I don't know, and um, on Joy FM. So as an organization, we were asking, what can we do to support them? And uh, we thought going forward, they would definitely need access to health care. And then that is what we do. So we felt uh, in the, what they've gone through, we need to be able to provide them with free national health insurance card that will give them access to free health care in um, all the accredited facilities or credential facilities across the country. Um, so we are here this afternoon to present to Madam Georgina Yawa Ankara and uh, daughter um, Vanessa Nyonyo, a national health insurance card and some items that we brought along. He urged as many Guineans as possible to join the NHIS as it's been of great help to many, including those who find themselves in a similar situation as Yawa. The National Insurance Scheme is for all of us. Whether poor or rich, we advise you to enroll National Health Insurance Authority. That's the only way we can sustain the scheme and hence be able to take care of those who, don't, who are the needy those who are the vulnerable within our society, we've even made it more easier for those who have cars to actually renew using any mobile platform. So long as they have a, a mobile money wallet, they can use the star 929 hash to do their renewal. With the coming in of the, um, let me say, Ghana card, right? You are, if you have a Ghana card, you can also use the same platform, which is a star 929 hash, to link your um, national health insurance card with um, your Ghana card. Because going forward, we are going to be able to use the Ghana card to access healthcare. An elated Yawa expressed gratitude to the team for the gesture. Then you are wrong. You are so good. Well, you people. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, Deputy Director Marketing of the NHIA, Oswald Esria Menza, commended Jonies for highlighting the plight of Yawa. Joy FM, of course, all credit goes to you for making this possible. We ask that you continue to touch lives the way that you do. Yawa's neighbor who acts as her caregiver said there's been tremendous improvement in Yawa's condition since her discharge from the hospital weeks ago. Hospital by God's grace, there has been significant improvement in her health since she was discharged. She now eats three times a day. She also appealed for more sanitary items for Yawa to help keep her clean and tidy. Pampe say, no le wo hiyamo, ke savlon. 
We need more sanitary pads and antiseptics for her. We also need PPs like Veronica buckets and other forms of water storage for her so she can maintain the COVID protocols and also be independent. And thanks so much to join us for collaborating with the National Health Insurance Authority to get this done. But away from that, at the beginning of this month, the National Health Insurance Authority district management teams extended their working hours to cater for the needs of senior high school students as schools reopen. NHIS staff worked from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. to free up space. NHIS Chief Executive Dr. Lydia Janice Sobi visited some district offices in the greater Accra region. She interacted with a cross-section of the media. At the moment, it looks congested because we are maintaining social distance at the office. So you can see it has spilled onto the street, but it's just because we're trying to make all those who are waiting uh, maintain social distance. It's not as bad as it used to be way back in the day. Uh, no, I think no, because 77% of all our renewals are through the mobile technology, actually. Yes, but I, I think people waited until the last minute to suddenly all want to renew or get a new card. That's the challenge, because the congestion is just this week. It wasn't there last week. So I think it's a last-minute rush. So we're pleading with everybody that... Uh, We'll extend the opening times. We'll come in on Saturday. We'll come in on Monday. Uh, the schools also need to maybe give them an extra week of flexibility. Uh, we can easily cater for all the students in the country. That was NHIS CEO Dr. Lydia Janisobi interacting with a cross section of the media. On that note, we end the maiden edition of News in Brief here on NHIS TV. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get regular updates from the National Health Insurance Authority. Also, follow us on our various social media platforms on Facebook at NHIS Ghana, on Twitter at NHIS underscore Ghana, and then on Instagram at NHIS GOV underscore GH. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are back same time next week with another news in brief on this channel. But before I go, Check this video, it will teach you how to link your NHIS card to your Ghana card. Thanks for watching.